With YouTube attacking alternative media, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon for just a dollar per month. Link below. All right, this one's going to be fun if you are a uh, a, a non fan of uh, of Ghostbusters. If you if you did not like Ghostbusters and you do not like Amy Pascal and you did not like Sony Pictures, you might like this. So according to ComicBook.com here, Sony Pictures head says if the studio doesn't grow, they'll be purchased. Now you might recall roughly about a year ago, maybe nine months ago, there were reports that came out that Sony Pictures had written down about nine hundred eighty million dollars from twenty sixteen meaning it lost about a billion dollars. And 2017, outside of Spider-Man, um, didn't really do as... Well, okay, I will say Spider-Man and Jumanji. Jumanji is a straight-up a straight up success. $700 million worldwide. It's a Sony movie. You know, came out right before Star Wars. It's or right after Star Wars. It's done really well. That's the whole point. Jumanji's done really well. It's a Sony movie, so they'll, they'll run on that one. But ultimately, they've been in a lot of trouble for a while. Now, I did, I did say that Marvel would, would uh, Disney would buy Sony to get Spider-Man back. I was wrong. They went after Fox, so I'll admit that. But I still think there's there's talks uh, in there uh, for Spider-Man. I still think that if, this, if they don't grow, they'll be purchased, but they'll sell off Spider-Man in order to keep themselves around. Uh, they've also lost the James Bond franchise. They're not being distributed through them anymore. Uh, that, I think, has a lot to do with the fact that uh, Spectre had, like, a $300 million budget and failed to gross that back. So, you know, they've made some some questionable choices. So, it says here, uh, in a panel discussion at the NATPE conference, Sony Pictures Entertainment Chairman Tony uh, Vincenquera, and I'm probably just mispronouncing that, said that if the business he leads doesn't see growth in the near future, then it may be put on the market to be sold. <laughs> and I think a lot of people have seen this coming. Uh, the Sony's PlayStation division is making them a lot of money, even though VR is effectively dead. Um, they're still making a lot of money there. And like that's like their top entertainment, I guess you could say, category that's earning them money. Uh, whereas Sony Pictures isn't and a lot of like Sony, tech, you know, electronics really aren't outside of the PlayStation. And I think they do like home insurance sell sales in Japan that does pretty well, too. But ultimately, PlayStation is kind of like their bread and butter. So we can see that Sony Pictures is having problems. And many people out there who didn't really care for Sony Pictures under Amy Pascal or the fact that Tom Rothman is currently running the show would be glad to watch them fail. Now, he says here that uh, if we don't grow, we'll be somebody's purchase. Uh, I didn't take the job to do it for a year and sell the company. Well, no, you didn't take it for that, but uh, it just it could it could it could still happen. It could it could still totally freaking happen. And I don't think anyone out there is going to really be uh, uh, sad if it does. I honestly I, I don't think anyone out there would be sad if it does. I mean, 2014 was kind of like the the nail in the coffin, if you will, right? Uh, that final nail when you had the Sony hack releasing all that information, which got Amy Pascal to, uh, you know, uh, be uh, effectively terminated. Uh, but at the same time, she orchestrated the deal to merge Spider-Man with the MCU, therefore saving her career. So ultimately, she did well there. We also learned about Ghostbusters 2016 and all the information around how they screwed over Ivan Reitman and Dan Aykroyd and put Paul Feig in place, which ultimately led, I believe, in essence, to the downfall of the movie. Because nobody, once you got the behind the scenes information, you weren't really duped going into to, to everything. You, 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 you knew what they were going to do and how bad it was going to be. Never mind the fact that in, uh, you know, you had the Emoji movie, which did okay in 20, uh, in, in 2017, but Dark Tower was meant to be this big new cinematic franchise uh, that crashed and burned. However, I did quite enjoy the movie. Baby Driver was a success, uh, but on a small budget. Uh, and again, Baby Driver was great, but that's Edgar Wright. That has nothing to do with Sony. Now, uh, he also said that among his first challenges that he had to overcome was making sure that his executives understood that they need to be more nimble on both his film and television productions by creating a sense of urgency, saying people are aware the business is changing rapidly. If we are not on our toes, we're not going to be in business very long. No, and that's true about every industry. You have to always be changing and evolving and, and doing everything else. But uh, it's one of those things where you got to, you know, being on your toes also means putting out the good content. And I understand that right now trying to do the Venom movie and the Silver Sable Black Cat movie in order to run parallel to the MCU while having Peter Parker, not Spider-Man, but Peter Parker as a bridge is going to be uh, interesting to see how that plays out. And if you guys get the Uncharted franchise off the ground, which have been rumored now for about a decade or so, uh, then, you know, 
like you got to get something that's going to bring people in. And right now they're just not doing that. Um, so it says here, the direct words were curious to hear from a longstanding member of the big six that made over 4,000 films and won 12 Academy Awards, uh, or winners for best picture to its credit. Sony pictures entertainment also owns Columbia pictures, Tristop pictures, screen gems, destination films, affirm films, and Funimation, as well as a vast number of smaller operations and Sony picture name subsidies or subsidiaries. So they have a big stay in the industry, but they're just not hitting it. Now, television is I think they're doing okay on television. Like the Goldbergs on ABC is run through Happy Madison Productions. Happy Madison, I believe, has pretty much always been with Sony. So that is a Sony TV show that is going to ABC. So they're doing well there. Uh, Breaking Bad was a Sony television show. Um, and so they do well television wise, and that might be where things go. I wouldn't be surprised if Columbia Pictures, TriStar Pictures, Screen Gems, uh, and the other, uh, and, and the other ones get sold off while they keep the television side of things, because they probably see that right now we're in a, we're in a golden age of television, another peak golden age of television. And I think that's what he's saying here, that if you're not on your toes, they're going to get bought out or they're going to have to sell. And I think he's more or less referring to being on your toes in regards to television versus films. Um, but if Sony goes under again, I, I don't necessarily think anyone will really miss him all that much besides it might be the only way to get spider-man wholly back to the mcu including all of the characters 